Hey, what's up guys? Coach Paul here. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade slip ball using a water bottle, some duct tape, and some string, all right? So first things first, what I did is I found some, some string laying around in my garage. I tied it up to a nail up in the beam, up in the top beam of my garage, all right? So the string is probably three feet, maybe a little bit longer, okay? Next thing I do is... I'm gonna measure the water bottle from the string to about my nose, okay? Then I'm gonna take the rest of the loose string and I'm gonna wrap it around the top, the head of the water bottle. Okay, once I did that, I ripped off some duct tape. And all I'm gonna do is duct tape the string to the water bottle. Okay. It's as simple as that, real basic, real easy. Then you got yourself a slip ball. All right, so now that we got that, I'm gonna put you guys through a little workout. You can practice your head movement, slipping, rolling, counter punching, okay, the full nine. Okay, first things first, you're, uh, you got your fighting stance, you got your shoulder into the water bottle or the slip ball, whatever. Okay, we're gonna push it one time and we're going to time it, we're going to slip it to the left, and then stop, okay? Just push it, slip it to your right, stop, okay? Push it, slip it to your left, come back center, slip to your right, center. Slip to your left, center, slip to your right, center, okay? Practice that for one round, two to three minutes. Time it, slip it to your left, slip it to your right. Make sure your hands, your hands stay up. Okay. Now we're going to add two slips. All right. Or, yeah, two slips side to side. Okay. So you push it. You're going to go slip one, slip to your right. Slip two, slip to your left. Slip three, one, two, slip one, two, slip to your right. Make sure your hands stay up. Okay, what we're doing is we're just, you're just trying to get the reps in more and more so you get that muscle memory in your hips of moving side to side. Okay, it's like a windshield wiper, just moving side to side. Okay, so one, two, slip. One, two, slip to your left. One, two, slip to your right. Come back center line. Okay. It's another, another drill you can practice, you know, two to three minutes to get the muscle memory down, get the timing of the water bottle down and then move on, all right? Next one, we're gonna push the water bottle, we're gonna slip it, and we're gonna come all the way around it so where the water bottle is behind our head. Push it, slip it to your left, swing your head around, you're back in center line. Slip to your left, swing to the right, you're back, <coughs> excuse me, in back center line. Okay, now we're gonna do it to your right side. Okay, you push it, slip it to your right, Swing your head to your left so the water bottle is behind you. You're back center line. Slip to your right. Okay, you're almost going. You're going in like a circular motion. Time it. Wait till it comes. Slip it. Come back. Try to do that both ways. To your left. Catch. Swing it to your right. Catch. Okay, and then once you get the timing and the hang of it, try to do multiple rotations on it. One, two, you go both ways to your right and left. Okay. And then once you start getting those down, you can start mixing it up, start doing both. Okay, start slip once, go around. Try to get as many head movements in, as many slips as you can get before the water bottle comes. And then try to slip it last minute. Slip it last minute. Okay, another one you can do, you can roll under it. Okay, it's like rolling under hooks. You wanna time it, slip, roll under it. So when you first slip it, the water bottle, you, you slipped it to your left, the water bottle's coming back, you're gonna roll under it. So you're gonna bend your knees and drop under the water bottle, okay? So you go slip, drop, roll. Slip, roll. Practice that to your left and right. Slip to your right, 
roll. Okay, now I'm gonna mix it up with the, with the head movement. The slips, the rolls, you're going around. Make sure your hands are up. Your hands are nice and still, okay? Kinda don't want your hands flopping around as you're moving, okay? You wanna build that muscle memory to where your hips are nice and elusive. You're getting that head movement down, your hands are glued to your face. Kinda like how Mike Tyson used to do it. Used to practice keeping his hands are real still, real out of his cheekbones, and his head slipping, rolling. Sometimes wait last minute and then slip fast, wait till it comes, boom, slip. And you can start adding punches to it. Start creating angles on it, pulling on it too. Slip, angle, time it, pull, roll. Okay, just mix it up, have fun with it, stay loose, stay technical, like I always say. Make sure you're building that muscle memory in your hips, your hands are staying home at your face, and enjoy the workout. And yeah, leave, leave a comment if you have any questions. All you need is a water bottle some string, some duct tape. Again, I tied the, the string to a nail up in my uh, beam in my garage. And yeah, it's simple as that. So homemade slip ball. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And yeah, look out for the next video. All right, enjoy the workout.